you know, it feels good. Being able to click clap for sure, just bring a different type of energy to practice. So yeah, it feel real good. And you know, seeing obviously you've been asked about Drake London, Kyle Pitts, but but those guys all look like they're playing at a pretty high level early right. on. How impressed have you been with, with their play? It's been good. You know, just challenging both of them in practice. Uh, just the defense giving them a good look and them giving us a good look. You know, just building chemistry and um, just competing. You know. Casey has a, a little incentive for the first interception of the day. You've been able to. Uh, first what? First interception of the day. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't aware. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know about that okay, one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but what, how do you feel about the level of communication for the defense so far in camp? You know, that's something that, that is so vital to the success of the defense. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good right now. Um, being in Coach P's you know, second year with the defense, uh, we're just gaining. More chemistry, like I said, and everybody just communicate, make sure we play fast, so it's going good right now. What do you look for from yourself, AJ? Like your career's obviously been on the rise for some time now. You're considered one of the elite players. What do you uh, look for? I mean, how, how do you get better? Uh, just holding myself accountable every day I come in and uh, just doing what I do, you know, just competing, having fun with the game, and just had, you know, building respect for the guys, as you know, just, just leading. It hasn't been easy though, has it? Over the course of I mean, I'm just doing my part, so yeah. Yeah, I mean it, it all the all the puzzles are falling piece in place. I saw you I saw you around Drake London a lot during a couple periods. Was there a specific reason for that today? Say it again. I saw you around Drake London a lot during a couple periods. Was there like You saying when we were competing? Yeah. Or just around. What you mean? Competing. Yeah. What do you mean, though? It's practice. That's what we do. Yeah. Now I was just, yeah, was there a specific reason why you lined up against him? Or? Uh, just how the defense go. Um, we weren't doing no following or anything like that. It was just, we just came on, on the same side and just did reps together. Hey, David, you know I mean? with it being his first camp, how are you kind of seeing him grow, especially now with the passes are on? Yeah, you know, just. Him trying to figure his way around, you know, same, you know, rookie stuff. But he's he's getting better each, you know, each day and each week. Uh, me giving him a good look and competing, make sure he earned everything, and and he's been doing got good a uh, good job, you know, earning you know the ball and running the good routes to get open and just making plays. How much swag of this CB group, um, I don't know, forming or the chemistry, even just with that first interception, it feels like this is. Yeah, we, we, we having some swag for real, you know, just got to, uh, I tell them, you know, to tap in every day, have fun with it, you know, just bring energy and uh, make the defense, make the offense feel us and uh, just just hold our own, like, just just have be passionate and have fun with it. Do you guys call yourself anything? Like when I cover the Broncos, it's, it's a team that's no fly zone. Do you guys have, like, have a name or anything that you're looking at calling yourself? Uh, not yet. No fly zone, pretty common. So, not yet. Uh, no, we we building our identity, so it 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 all work out in a minute. AJ, Michael Walker, Jalen Hawkins, getting some run out there with the starters. How awesome is it to see your draft mates and, and guys in the draft class kind of making their presence felt on this? It's real big. Um, I realize that you know I put all that into, uh, but that's 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 the bigger picture. You know they bring us in to be able to step up and and lead the team, lead the defense, and. You know, all our roles is it's coming hand to hand now. Now that we all out there, and um, just just making sure we earn it. You know, just have fun with it. And how beneficial is it to play quarterbacks in practice like Marcus and Desmond, who have that running ability? Given the way the league has gone with mobile quarterbacks, right. how much does that prepare you for Sunday when you see some of these guys who can tuck it and run? Yeah, it prepares us a lot. You know, just be, Marcus being able to keep the play alive and us having to have sticky coverage in the back end. You know. And in camp, you know, we getting the best of it right now. They they hold the whistle sometimes, so you just gotta gotta stick with your guy. I mean, did you get some of the notoriety now that you deserve since you got here? It's one of the better corners in the league, if not the top young corner in the league. How do you balance that? You've been a humble dude ever since you've been playing. How do you balance that with some of the notoriety you're starting to get? Uh, same thing you just said. Just staying humble, uh, not getting too too big up in the head game. You know, just. Staying down, didn't have a tunnel vision, just doing what I got to do.
I mean, first up, uh, how do you think training camp has gone so far? I mean, it's fun, man. It's, it's hard. Yeah, man, it's, it's way harder than last year. I can understand there's a, more, a lot more competition, a lot more people breaking more edge to this year, man. Um, that's a different feel, man, different players out here. You know, we're more athletic, more bigger. I mean, it just, it's different, man. This year is 100% different. What's the biggest difference you've seen or you've noticed so far? I mean, just the way that we compete against each other. Um, every day we're coming out here, we're trying to work, we're trying to get better. And um, just really just trying to put our best foot forward. And you know what I mean? And just every day, man, it's a competition, man. It's like every day we're smashing and smashing, just keep coming out. And you know what I mean? It just, it, it's good. Who's been uh, the biggest competitor you've seen so far you think that's really just stood out to you? I mean, of course, um, to me, I'm going to say Kyle. Kyle, man, he's, he's turned himself around, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to be surprised about that guy this year. <laughs> I'm, he's, I'm, he's, I'm looking forward to it. Me too. He's, he just, I mean, it, it looks like almost like he's a man. He's just, he's unstoppable. Yeah, man, he's bigger now, man. He look prettier. Like, man. It's, that's one of them. And one of the things too, you can tell it's just like more of a like a calmer presence, like a confidence. He's not learning. Like it, he, it doesn't. He it doesn't feel like he has to prove himself. He's has that. Have you taken? You feel like that next step too? Like just feel a little more confident around here now. You know, second, third year. Yes, of course. I mean, um, you know, planning upon the DMPs again. I mean, um, just knowing my job and what to do, having a year up on the system, knowing what he wants from me and what to do and um, what I'm doing my job. I mean, that's, that's, that's perfect, man. That's a perfect situation, perfect setup, perfect everything. And are you ready to kind of take that next step? How, how have you been feeling in terms of this offseason? What was that like for you in getting ready for this season? Yes, of course I'm ready to take the next step, man. I'm ready to be a ball player. I'm ready to show people that I can play ball. I'm ready, I'm ready to turn it on. I'm ready. And what was this offseason? I know you were dealing with injuries last year and everything like that. So did you, how was this offseason, kind of just getting healthy, getting everything right? Um, it, was, it was pretty fun, man, uh, just knowing that I was a lot more chill. A lot more muscle, a lot more uh, curls and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't too much crazy stuff. But just more so getting my legs back up under me, making sure that my, my, my joints and everything are good. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to make sure I'm fine. <laughs> so when I came here, I was trying to turn it on. I remember last year you told us that <laughs> on your off time for fun, you like to build ATVs and yeah. stuff like that. Any time for that this off Yeah, season? of course. I mean, yeah. I was out here doing my can now. You know, okay. I had a can now. Okay. Side by side type of thing. You know, I'm an off road guy. I am that. So. Still, you're still not, not riding them yet? Nah, not nah. yet. Nah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not yet. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the, I don't know, what's the coolest thing you were able to build this year? Coolest thing I ate to build this year was my dog uh, fence, man. Just, uh, I built I my dog fence. Like a. All right. Pretty good like yard. Yeah, okay. For a pretty good yard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna say all of that, but a pretty good yard. I got a big fence. What dog do so, you have? I got two pit bulls. Oh, XL. nice. So, they're beautiful. The Stormy and Reese. Oh. Stormy is a good name. Stormy and Reese. Stormy and Reese. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. they're my, they my children. <laughs> You got anything else? No, I was just going to tell you, I watched the 200th episode of Criminal Minds the other day. It's the one that JJ gets kidnapped. And uh, I was thinking about you the whole time. I was like, I'm pretty sure I had a conversation with Marlon about it. Yeah, big part of this defense. I uh, mean, really important, you know, uh, as we grow in this defense, you know, year by year, you know, we, we learn more, you know, and everything that we learn, we got to implement that on the field. So it's a big deal, you know, the older we get, the more, you know, our leadership role has to come upon. Younger classes come, you got to take them under your wing, still learn from the older guys. You know, you have a role, you got to, you know, go ahead and, and play that role to the fullest of your ability. So it's really important, and uh, I'm just I'm just glad that we are, you know what I'm saying, getting better one day at a time and getting better each day. I know last time we spoke, you mentioned the importance of Deron Harmon and Eric Harris last year, helping you grow in their leadership. Now, Eric, you know, how has he helped you for what looks like a starting role this season? His experience, you know, continuing to support your play. First and foremost, Eric is my dog. Um, <laughs> really helped a lot, man. You know, I'm paying attention to him, dudes. Paying attention to everybody when I'm not in. You know, I study, you know, everybody. I take notes of reps, see what they're doing, see how, you know, what they're doing. If they did it better, and that, and that can help my, you know what I'm saying, technique and stuff like that. I, uh, we still talk, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, we all stay in the room together, so that's cool. We late night hanging out, talking about life and stuff, which is helping us create a, um, a better bond, you know? So it's pretty dope that Coach did that for us this year in camp. And, um, you know, we're talking about different stuff, situational football, life, uh, everything. You know, he got a lot of wisdom. He about six years older than me. You know what I'm saying? I'm young still, so I'm still learning. Not to, you know, I'm not saying it like that, but like I'm saying, he got a lot of years on me. He, he know a lot of stuff I don't. Yeah. He lived life longer, so I just, you know, listen and, you 
you know, always be a student in the game to everybody, not just the coaches. Yeah. This is my last one, but your interception, first one of the day. Uh, <laughs> a, how did that feel to start the day off and uh, you talk to Casey afterwards? Is there? Uh, I was, you know, it's always turn to get the ball. I'll be trying to get the ball, you know what I'm saying, as much as possible. Um, I mean, I start going out there. You know, a lot of guys on the team been stripping stuff, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. ripping the ball, getting after the ball. So it's, it's always good to get the ball. Do you get it? Like, do you get anything from the guy? Like, do they celebrate? What do you get? Like a special gift? Cause you got an interception, or is it like just? Good? It's practice, so it's like you know, <laughs> practice that right now, so we can implement that in the game. But it really means something to so give offense another possession. You know what I'm saying? To go out there and score. So you know, you do it out here, you practice it out here. You know, and, and, and the stuff comes to the game. Um, it's, you know, it's practice. I mean, I get a pick, but you know, you gotta like coach said. You know, you gotta do things the next day. Have a good day. You gotta do it the next day. You gotta follow up. So. It was cool, it was good, but, you know, yeah. What do you feel like the identity is of, like, the DBs or even just this defense? I mean, when talking with Dean Keyes, he just talked about how, like, this, you guys are ignoring the noise. You don't want to, like, you are better than what people are saying. Like, what do you feel like this time? Yeah, I feel like we just not worry about all the, like you said, the noise, called the noise poison. Um, we just more so focused on what's going on in here. It's day to day, which is the factual stuff, you know, um, which is practice, you know. From what Coach Art, you know what I'm saying, preaching, that stuff is important to focus on in ourselves. As we hone in and practice, as we hone in in the um, dorms and the meetings and everything like that, that's what's really important, you know, because a lot of people don't really know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? We know what's going on. So, you know, we know our mistakes more than, you know what I'm saying, somebody who's watching practice on the outside who doesn't know the defensive call, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like everything is in house. and. Um, I feel like we're doing a real good job. We're earning it. We're working hard as a unit. Uh, everybody's picking each other up. Yeah, competition, right right competition level with Rose and that. Coach is implementing that. So it's real dope. Yeah, it's always interesting when I was talking to you. That's my dog. <laughs> e money. Hey. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I thought it was really interesting when talking with Marlon because he said, like, it, it, the competition and the culture, it just feels different than last year. He's like, you know, you saw a fight, a couple fights out there, and he's like, you didn't see that last year. Like, it, it, these guys are competing even more this year. Yeah, it's more of that, like, you know, that, that dog mentality, that mindset, just to go out there and just, and just go, you know. Uh, I feel like that's really what's important. You, you, you play like that as a unit, you know what I'm saying? Got all dogs in a unit, everybody just goes, everybody goes at one beat and does their job, does their 11 and, and goes as hard as they can, you know, good things happen. So I feel like that's that's the main thing. I feel like the coach is trying to implement. Um, also make us tough and smart. You know, implement a lot of situations, situational football, from special teams to offense, defense, whatever. You know, that, that stuff is important. So you gotta be tough mentally as well. Personal goals, like what are you, like what's a success with training camp and what do you hope that plays into the season? Success with training camp is just winning the day, getting better every day. That's all. I'm gonna just keep on just winning the day, get better every day. Um, I learn something new every day. Um, either it's from my gameplay or one of my teammates messed up on something. You know, I use that as like, okay, I, know, I can fix that too. Like, if I, if I messed up today, like, yeah, I got picked today. But there's just a couple things I could have worked on today that could have been better in my technique. Uh, stuff like that is important. Um, you don't, like, it's a, it's a constant state of growth. I think people don't really see that, like football, like, from week to week. It's, it's just the game evolves, you got to evolve continuously. So there's no cap. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a great mindset to have because yeah. if you stop learning, you stop growing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No one be like that. No, but and the last one for me is just like how ready are you for this first places in the game to go up to, against other guys and, and compete? Long turn, <laughs> happy. Uh, it's gonna be a turn. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, ball out, man. I, the games is tight. I like going out there with my dogs. Go out there as a unit. We can finally, you know what I'm saying, get on some other people. You know what I'm saying? Not just in practice. And they go hit somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Go cover somebody else. Stuff like that. That that is that's dope, man. It's that's like it's one of the most rarest adrenaline rushes ever in life on um, like that I've ever experienced. It's like going to the games, that feeling, walking in with your bros, going in the handle business, going for the win. So that's dope and excited to see not just me but everybody else go out there and get their reps and show what they can do. What did you learn today? I mean, you talked a little bit about it. Like I learned today. I learned some technique. I learned some technique on the goal line um, that I could have used to stop a certain route, um, couple communications, my split where I'm aligned, you know, stuff like that. I, I thought about that once the sideline. Okay, that right, was one play. You know, we got matched up on bodies. I was supposed to. I, I could have matched up on the on the on the body I, I was supposed to match up on. Stuff like that. You know, it's like the littlest things like that. Like 
it's just very it's just very important and like I see that and I'm like, okay, well, I gotta hone in on that. Like, I, I gotta know that. I gotta know that. Whenever we're in this situation, I have to know. You know, that that stuff is important because you don't want to let that stuff slide. Like, yeah, the pick is cool, but <laughs> you gotta follow up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a game to play. Like, you can make a big play. Like, I've been against a guy plays. You make a big play, and it's like, okay, you can't hang your hat. You gotta go out there because you can't go out there and just get scored on a couple times. You know what I'm saying? So like. Stuff like that, like, is very important. So that's why, like, the coach does the call it periods and we just out there playing, playing like it's a real game, doing long drives. That stuff is important because you got to stay locked in mentally. So, yeah. You, like, ran halfway down the field after. Was that just force a habit? Or? Force yeah. a habit. Yeah. <laughs> force a habit, though. I mean, like, I don't want to just get the pick, catch it, and then just stand there and turn up. Like, we got to act like this a game. Like, so, if, you know, if I get tired, I'm going to catch the ball, get up, uh-uh. And, 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 try, and always try to score because that can change the game. Stuff like that helps. That stuff like that is important. Jay, yeah, you talk about the 111 and you know the importance of those details. How do you feel the communication is for this defense at this point? Uh, it's been a lot. It's been really good. I feel like um, we've all kind of – we're still – of course, we're still growing, but, like, we're all, I feel like, loving it up. Like, we're all gaining chemistry. You know, I feel like – I think – and um, I feel like we are, uh, there's a lot of communication, there's a lot of things, you know, knowledge, second unit system that we know that we can implement out there on the field. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, that we see, hey, peep this, check this, and stuff like that. So I feel like we, we, we're, going in, we're going in the right direction with that. Is there someone you think offensively that's kind of having like a low key, really good camp on offense that we maybe aren't really like paying attention to that we should be, maybe, like, from your perspective? I think all the homies is ball, man. I'm a defensive guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm focused on myself, but like, who I'm going into, everybody's been balling. Felipe has been balling, Kyle's been balling, um, other C's been balling, Bray, Dre, Honest balling, Marcus been balling, Marcus is fast, like, Marcus been doing his dirt, like, you know, really been balling. Every, everybody been doing solid. CP been balling, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody doing their dirt, so it's kind of, you know, like, yeah, everybody's balling. You Just mentioned like, Felipe yeah. first. No, 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 but in all seriousness, I mean, is any part of you at least a little bit surprised at like how fast it seems like this transition is going to come from? Uh, Felipe after me, man. Felipe, good mindset, man. Uh, good character, man. Really a hard worker. Uh, Felipe changed my uncle and house for quarterback. So I kind of like knew of him kind of a little bit before I come in. In the here and uh, yeah, man, he just he's just a good person. He goes out there and he just he just compete, you know, like that competition stuff. He takes it serious and doing his thing. Well, I guess more you know you can talk about mindset and hard work all you want, but like it's still physical. It's a physical transition in so many ways. He hasn't run a route, hell, and you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. But I mean, he got attributes. I mean, he's big, tall, fast. So you know, with good coaching, with the coaches we got. And he honing in into the, into, into the coach and he implementing on the field, you know, that's the thing. So, like, to, in order to do that, you got to be stronger here mentally. Because, I mean, your mind going to tell you how your body want to do it. So, you got to listen to coach. Coach out here telling him, you know, what to do and stuff like that. Being coachable. And you got to implement it. And, and, and implement it. That's, you know, the biggest thing. What's it like that's a safety having a matchup against the team? He's got, like, but he's got like what six inches on you, like seven yeah. inches on you. That's not a knock, literally. Yeah. He's got that on everybody. You know, bro, he's tall. I mean, you know, like he's, he's tall, athletic, and stuff like that. So solid. Where does your mindset come from? Because you have kind of this, like, I'm gonna keep growing, I'm gonna keep growing. Like, did anyone teach you that along the way? Like, where did that come from? I came from just, I would say, be worshiping God first and foremost. Um, stuff like that. That's worship of God. That's where we came from. And then it also came from just my upbringing. Um, you know, always just having to grind and earn where, where I got to. Earn to get here. Earn to, you know, get some scholarships. Earn. I, had to earn, I always had to earn my way to, to get this stuff. So, like, that's why, like, my mindset is the way it is, it is what it is. And my parents, you know what I'm saying, they still learn. So, that's just kind of my way. You mentioned Marcus's speed. How beneficial is that to you guys as a secondary to not only practice sticking with the receivers when the play breaks down, but also then switching gears and going to tackle the ball carrier when he tucks yeah, it and runs it? Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to really be aware of that. Even though he got the red on, so we can't hit him or tackle yeah. him. He got the red on. But, like, you know, we'll be in coverage, mid-coverage, you running down the field, 
And all of a sudden you see just a red thing just around, just take off, flash, and just, you know what I'm saying, really too, you step into too though, really fast too. So to take off and stuff like that, and you just like, oh, hold on, I gotta get on covers and I gotta transition it because it happened in the game. Do you guys have a specific call in the secondary for when somebody notices that the quarterback is broken, can, or is it nah, kind of you just, just gotta play, you just gotta play, you gotta play the game. Has that been like an emphasis for you? I mean, I know it's still training camp, so it's early in the season and everything. But last year, that was, I feel like, a really important, like, containing the quarterbacks that could run, get out of the pocket, like Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen, those guys. Has that kind of been like an emphasis this year? Is it, I mean, this year on the schedule, it's going to be Lamar Jackson. There's uh, some guys that can get out of the pocket and run. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's good for us to practice that, you know, stuff like that. Week to week, every, every week is a different matchup, so we'll be prepared for that week to week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we'll take week one week at a time. Play this team this week. Worry about what this team got. Worry about them. Play the Lions next week. Worry about the Lions. So if we, we take that approach from this show. Um, you said something about having a dog mentality that defense has. Where do you credit that? Because you feel like we didn't sense that dog mentality last year. Is that a credit to the guys that are here? Is that something the coach said? Uh, credit to just for one. You know what I'm saying? Coaches. Coaches. We got good coaches, man. We got really good coaches, man. Credit to you know, D coordinator, DB coach, high level coach, D line coach, all them. And then credit to the front, start up front. You know what I'm saying? Grady, all them. And then our DB core and then our linebackers. You know what I'm saying? We all got specific leaders and people who, you know what I'm saying, keep our motors running because we got to turn ourselves up when we out there. You know what I'm saying? The coaches, the coaches, you know what I'm saying? They, that's not their job to turn us up. He's supposed to turn up. That's just the that's just the importance, you know what I'm saying? While we out there, we gotta we gotta play like that, and that all that all that that just doesn't like make us play good, but it just helps us play together and have fun, you know what I'm saying? And when we're doing our responsibility, we're turning up, we're having fun, we're playing hard, we're playing loose, swag. That that's when you see big plays, turnovers, and stuff like that. And everybody's just doing their assignment, communicating. <laughs> yeah, I got your back, you got my back, type stuff. That, that's the importance. You know, it's, it's a brotherhood on the back there.